Hi guys, welcome to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please, if you are new to this channel, please push that subscribe button. We do everything city, past and present here on these little vlogs. So I do try and inform and entertain. And there's some links on screen as well for Facebook and Twitter where I do post loads of city stuff. So if you follow a friend me on there, I do check every few days and follow a friend everyone back. And if you do get a chance, please have a check out my uh, film and TV channel as well, uh, which I try and inform and entertain on there and all the latest films and TV drama here in the UK and from around the world. So if you can check that out, that will be fantastic. Anyway, hope you enjoy today's feature. Right, welcome to the Odd Show as we look forward to the visit to Anfield. If we, if that's the right, quite the right word, uh, can we do back to back? Who knows? But uh, welcome to the Odd Show. We're having a look at the value, and there's always a little bit of value about when it's a tough game. And this is, let's be honest about it, it's top versus second, isn't it? It is a tough game, so there is a little bit of value to be have on this. And not always, I don't always do it with my heart. I sometimes do it with my head. And we've got charity bets. Don't forget, and we added to the pot last week. With with the, the under three and a half goals for the PSG game, all right, it didn't go out, it didn't turn out very well for us. But uh, uh, two goals in the game, one, one was a little bit of money for charity, so it wasn't a total disaster as far as that's concerned. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll gloss over that. Yeah, 16th for September 2021, uh, Liverpool at Anfield, 4:30 kickoff. Uh, of course, there'll always be a city leaning in this, but I'll tell you now that one of the ch the charity bets isn't that one of the charity bets isn't the city leading. So, uh, but as I said, I'm using my head to try and win some money as opposed to my heart. So there you go. Please, I don't condone gambling in any way. Only ever bet what you can afford, and when the fun stops, stop. And if you do have any problems, please get in touch with me. I can put you into onto the right people, or uh, please seek some help if you find yourself struggling. Obviously. Uh, uh, with, with with gambling, which as I say some people do, some people as they like me, and many many more uh, just do it for a little bit of interest, a little bit of fun. But uh, if you do find yourself getting drawn in, don't ever chase your losses and stuff like that. Just just uh, give me a shout, or there are organisations out there, so I can point you in the right direction. Yep. So let's have a look at this one, shall we? Right. Uh, just a general thing to win the league at the moment. Yes, City's still favourites. So even though obviously Liverpool are top and doing quite well, uh, City still evens to win the league title, the Premier League. Chelsea are second favourites, eleven to four, and Liverpool actually third favourites. You can get four to one still if you fancy Liverpool to regain the title this season. They're four to one with Sky and Bet Victor. On to the match. That's an interesting one. Yes, City are favourites to win it. Uh, very, I'm very surprised at that. I, I thought it would be a little bit closer, actually. Look at these odds. Uh, City are 7-5. to five. Uh, You can get that from a, a, a number of bookmakers. Liverpool, 19-10. to 10, Almost 2-1 to one, uh, to win this game. I mean, have they not looked at the history of this game? I'm not saying City can't win the title this year, but, uh, you know, we, we may have to win it and, and accept that uh, we won't win at Anfield. I've looked of course, I'd love to win that Anfield again, but uh, it's no easy task. But 19 to 10 for Liverpool, Th bet 365, Willie the Hill is sort of uh, the tempting you in there, aren't they, with that one? Uh, a draw is 13 to 5 with Bet Fred, but there you go. Here's my first charity bet. Oh, I'm sorry about this, guys, all the loyal blues, but uh, yeah, I've got uh, Smarkets. I've got Liverpool to win at twos, so obviously. Uh, I'm not going to say fingers crossed, but obviously for the charity I will. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to cover that. I'm going to have that as my first uh, first of two charity bets. Liverpool to win on markets at two. Please, please forgive me. I say it's just uh, just uh, it was just too too good a chance to miss. Just too good a price to miss. To be honest with you, I mean seventy five for City isn't bad, is it? I mean that's okay, but. Yeah, I'm just not sure we can do back to back. So that's the only problem. It's probably end up a draw, and then obviously I'll lose either way. But uh, uh, there you go. Yeah, based on uh, looking at first goal scorer and any time goal scorer, I'm going with a City eleven. So this is my starting eleven for the match that I've put down. And obviously, based any sort of prices on these sort of players, obviously if they're not playing. I'm not. I'm not included them. So I've gone with Edison Walker, Diaz, Laporte, Cancelo. Rodri, Bernardo, KDB, Foden, Grealish and Jesus, which is more or less the Chelsea, the team that beat Chelsea. So I've gone with that. I think I'm recording this on the Thursday. I've not heard any problems about injuries to, to any new players. So 
hopefully that'll be near us, damn it. Uh, first time goal scorer, first goal, sorry, first time goal scorer, first goal scorer. Uh, yeah, the favourite at the moment, Salah, um, no surprise, he's 9 to 2 with 365. As far as City players are concerned, uh, Torres is 6 to 1, Jesus is 13 to 2. Uh, as I said, I don't think Torres will play, to be honest with you, but Jesus is 13 to 2. Bolden is 8 to 1, yeah, with Paddy Power and Bet Betfair Sports, so. That's an interesting one. He scored there last year, didn't he? KDB's a good one as well. He's 9-1 to one with Paddy Power and Bet Betfair Sports. So that's an interesting one. And Grealish can get 10-1 with 365. And Bernardo, you fancy Bernardo to sort of score from three yards out rather than hit the bar. Uh, you can get 14-1 to one on Bernardo. And the other Liverpool price is Jota. Yeah, I'm not too sure he'll play, to, to be honest with you. I mean, you can get 15-2 to two with Paddy Power and Bet Betfair Sports. Uh, Mane seven to one again, not a bad price. That's with three six five and bet first sports. And uh, for me, you know, you can get uh, eight to one generally on that one. But always of more interest to me. I've ignored. I mean, Salah's too low a price. But any time goal scorer, which is a good one. There's a good, a couple of good ones on here. You got Jesus at twenty three to ten. I think uh, Jesus will play against Liverpool. That's with Sky. That's not a bad price. Mane is twelve to five. I mean, that's he scored a couple the other night, didn't he? In the uh, in the Champions League game, I think for, for Liverpool, I think, I think he did. It was either, uh, I think it was Mane scored a couple. Uh, Jota's thirteen to five if he does play with Paddy Power and Betfred Sports. Uh, Foden, yeah, as I said, to to copy what he did last season, you get thirteen to five with Paddy Power and Betfred Sports again. Bet Bet Fair Sports again on uh, Foden. Uh, Firmino's thirteen to five. KDB. Now this is the most I almost almost look for a, a go on this with Paddy Power. And bet fair sports, you can get sixteen to five on KDB. He's got to be, he's got to be due a goal, hasn't he? Surely he's not. No, he's not played the greatest games the last couple of games, but uh, over three to one for KDB. That's that's tempting. You could be tempted in at that. Uh, Grealish is sixteen to five with Paddy Power and bet fair sports, and Bernardo's nine to two. Uh, with bet three six five, so that's your uh, goal scorer. If you fancy any of those, both teams to score. Yeah, I mean, both teams to score. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I mean, obviously the bookies are going for a yes. It's four to seven on. Uh, I wouldn't perhaps disagree with that. Uh, I won't be surprised if someone keeps a clean sheet, or we both keep a clean sheet. It might be a nil nil bore, but uh, yeah, that's that's not a bad price four to seven. Actually, if you don't mind betting odds on, I don't. I, I'm quite happy to bet odds on. Uh, but if you say no, so there's a clean sheet, you can get seven to five with Paddy Power. So that's another cracking little price if you're interested in that. Correct scores always interesting, aren't they? Yeah, I've, I've just picked the selections here. I've gone City wins of one nil is ten to one with William Hill and three six five a two one City win, which. Yeah, I'm, I think it'll be a tight game. I don't think someone's going to, you know, like last season, it was 4-1 to City, wasn't it? But I don't I don't think it's going to be like that. I don't think, anyway. 2-1 uh, to City's 9-2 to two with 3-6-5 and Bet Victor. 3-1 to City, which is your bog standard score in a 3-1 either way, is 20-1 to one with William Hill. But if you fancied us to repeat what we did last season with a 4-1 win, uh, that's 40-1, to one, so that's generally available. That's not a bad price. If you fancied the draw, which doesn't all doesn't happen a lot, uh, it does, does happen, but not too often. Uh, nil nil is fourteen to one with William Hill. One one is thirteen to two with Bet three six five, and two two is thirteen to one with Bet Victor. A uh, Liverpool win. Here we go. You fancy if you think Liverpool are going to win it? Uh, as I said, I've you know I'm hoping not. But uh, Liverpool one nil is twelve to one with three six five. A two one uh, is eleven to one with three six five. A three one is twenty two to one with three six five and Bet Victor. And a four one you can get eighty to one, eight zero oh to one on Bet Victor. So they're they're trying to tempt a few in for a four one, aren't they? Which um uh, I don't think I don't think it's going to be a four one either way. To be honest with you. Half time, full time, yeah, they're quite interesting. Uh, City, City, half time, full time is three to one with three six five and Sky. Uh, Liverpool, and Liverpool is four to one with Sky. A draw is five is uh, five to one with Bet three six five. Uh, a, so a draw and a draw is five to one with three six five. A draw and City, so a draw at half time, City to win the game is five to one. And a draw at half time, Liverpool to win the game is six to one. So they're, they're not bad. And I, I would say the half time, full time, that's quite a good call. A draw and one of the two to win. I won't commit myself as to who though, but there you go. And the goals over under. I like these. This is what we won on against PSG. This is what we added to the charity bet on PSG. And I'm going to take another chance again on it today, even though the price isn't obviously 
uh, fantastic, but it's, it's it's doable for me. Uh, under three and a half goals, you can get four to nine with three six five and bet Victor. So it's a bit, just a bit, you know, a bit a bit tight. Over three and a half goals, or you can get seven to four. That's a good price. So you fancy a three one or more than more than three goals. That's okay. Uh, under two and a half goals. 11 to 10 so that's a tempting price because they do you know they usually have a few goals in city liverpool games aren't they not all the time but usually and over two and a half this is the one that interests me most was eight to 11 so okay odds on but as i said that never puts me off so i've actually gone this for my second charity bet i've gone uh, for over two and a half so there's got to be at least three goals in the game fingers crossed for uh Hopefully for us, and obviously I'll lose my other bet, but hey, that's just how it is. Uh, so over two and a half goals is at 0.78 on Smarket. So I managed to get a 0.78 on that. So that'll be my second charity bet. Uh, winning margins yet? Yeah, Liverpool and City uh, by a one by one goal is seven to two. That's not bad. Who you think it's going to be tight? Uh, that's the thing with Liverpool and City. They seem to be, you know, sort of close, or one team sort of, uh, sort of more or less hammers the other, doesn't it? So it is interesting. But you can get seventy-two on one goal. If you fancy City to win by two goals, a three-one or a two-nil, get thirteen to two with Sky. Liverpool to win by two goals, you can get an eight to one with Sky, and City to win by three goals. So like this last season. 14 to 1 on 365, and with Liverpool up to win by three goals, you can get 20 to 1 uh, with 365. So, uh, not bad prices. Uh, corners, yeah, looking at looking at the corner market uh, before we finish today. Over 10 and a half. I mean, literally, I think um, the 4 1, I think there was like three, I was only about three corners last season <laughs> in the game, even though it obviously it was. It was obviously a 4-1 scoreline. There just wasn't many corners. Uh, over 10.5 corners is even. So that's probably why the bookies are going under 10.5 at 8 to 11. So, But I think that's the best bet. I can't see there being 11 corners or more. Um, you know, they are busy games, but, you know, it's not sort of mad panic blocking, is it, usually? So it's either usually in the net or, or out for a goal kick. So, yeah, I would probably say under 10.5 seems the best bet at 8 to 11, so that doesn't sound too bad. And most corners is an interesting one as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously City are the favoured on that. The 6 to 5 would bet 3 6 5 to get most corners, but... I wouldn't shy away from uh, Liverpool because even when we even last season uh, when we beat them, Liverpool still have more corners than us anyway. So uh, Liverpool are thirteen to eight with Sky. I, I think that uh, of the two, I mean that's I say I think that's that's not a bad bet. I won't put anyone off uh, Liverpool having more corners than City. It wouldn't it wouldn't wouldn't be a surprise at all. And the first corner, yeah, the first corner, uh, they're both the same. City City to get the first corner, or Liverpool. You'd imagine Liverpool be hot out on the blocks like they usually are at Anfield. The crowd's there, the crowd's in this time. So they're both five to six. So, again, that's not a bad bet if you go for either City or Liverpool. Almost evens, five to six, you can get that with bet three, six, five. So, yeah, if I was if I was doing it, I would say Liverpool for first corner at five to six. That's not bad, not a bad, uh, you know, but... Put a couple of quid on that, you you know, you'll almost get you almost double your money, won't you? So that's an interesting one. But there you go. That's the uh, odds show today. Uh, let me know if there's anything you fancy or you've done or perhaps stuff that uh, I've not looked at today that you've put on you you fancy. There's all sorts of little quirky bets, isn't there? Of course. Don't forget my charity bets. Uh, fingers crossed on the second one. Perhaps not on the first one because I, I don't. As I say, it's uh, at least if Liverpool do win, there will be money in the charity because I've uh, bet on Liverpool to win this match at uh, twos on Smarkets. And of course, you're the other one over two and a half goals in the game. So as long as there's at least three game, three goals in the game, fingers crossed at 0.78 on Smarkets, there'll be some more money into the charity pot. There you go. Please, as I said, I don't ever condone gambling. Please, if you do need help, just uh, get in touch and, uh, and point in the right direction. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Now we're going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. To me here again on the Citizen Channel. Or perhaps you have a flit across, please, if you want to have a look at my film and TV channel. I'll try and inform and entertain on there as well. Whatever it is, if it's back here or on there, until we meet again, I only ask one thing. Please stay safe, please. Thanks for watching. Come on, City. Laters. Bye-bye.